Welcome back to Pentiment, the merciful monastic murder mystery set in the town of Tassing, of course. So guys, we have just uh, helped Sister Illuminata and the nuns bring a nice, much-needed bout of uh, supper to the monks hold away in the scriptorium, in the, in the library of the scriptorium. Um, they, of course, are under the vigil of the townsfolk, the peasants, who are holding its siege and are attempting to starve out the monks, or, or really just contain them until we complete our investigation. On that front, not good news. We have kind of got some leads, but we just don't have the time to figure them out. And we've got like 10 hours until we need to present our findings to the villagers, which is not great, because now it's sleepy time. So I don't really see anything else that we can do besides heading back to the Golden Inn and going to bed. So yeah, we're going to have to see how this turns out. Alright, Killian doesn't want to talk to us, because it's bedtime. Come on. Wait, is it bedtime? Hey, Hannah? Hello, Master Mela. Anything I can do for you? No, nothing. Sorry to bother you. Well, it is sleep time. Yeah, so there's a... I, I mean, I don't believe there's anything else, is there? Let's just take a quick look at the journal. I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything else. No, it looks like it definitely is sleepy time. Because the uh, sleepy symbol is over the golden hand. So yeah, it's uh, bedtime. Okay, it's getting late. I should get some rest. Go to sleep? Well, I mean, what else can we do? We can't exactly stay awake more. Well, I mean, I suppose we can, but there's nothing else to see, so... Yeah, not great. That's the thing with this whole investigation. We just don't have enough time. And maybe it's accurate, but... It does seem like some of the things that we investigate does take up time. Oh, crud, they're here already. Andreas, get up. Wake your boy, too. Peter, uh, what are you all doing here? Uh, how the hell did you get in? Well, yeah, why? What's happened now? We're finishing this. You're needed in the commons, now. What? Let's go! We'll be asking the questions, Mailer. Alright, alright, we'll get dressed and be, and be along. What? They can't wake us in the middle of the night. What the actual hell? Casper, wake up. Master Andreas? What's going on? It's the middle of the night. Something's happening in the commons. Peter and the others want us there. Will we be alright, Master Andreas? Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to you. We'll be fine. Peter seems upset, uh, but we should be fine, I think. Remain silent? We should be fine. Alright, now that everyone's here, we can start. Start, start what? Wait, yeah, what the hell did you wake me up for? We're holding a trial for Otto's murderer. You're the one with the evidence. Whoa, are, are you mad? What about the law? We should wait for the judge, not do this ourselves. You woke me up for a trial? Peter, the Duke will pounce on any hint of rebellion. Yeah, we can't let this go too far, dude. This isn't a rebellion, Mailer. This is justice. Well, what have you found? We're all waiting. Hold on, I've barely had a day to investigate. I can hardly come to a conclusion so soon. I mean, yes, that is so true. Answer the man! And please, Andreas, give us the killer! Calm down, everyone. I mean, we, we won't be required to fork someone over now, will we? Well, you'd better fucking decide, Mailer, or you can watch that damn Abbey go up in flames. Be quiet! <laughs> I have a woman in labor right next door. This behavior is shameful. If she loses her child because of this fighting, it will be on your souls. Agnes is right. I know you want justice for my husband, your friend, but I don't want things to get worse than they already are. 
Please, Dad, give Andreas a little more time. Fine. Andreas, you've gone until that baby is born. After that, we'll claim, we'll claim our justice. Work fast, Mailer. Yeah, it's the right decision, Peter. Hmm. Oh? That must be one of the Duke's men, Tristan. Good evening. Is it customary and tasking that the people gather in the commons in the middle of the night? We do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. Who's asking? My name is Tristan von Frauenberg. I'm here on behalf of the Duke of Bavaria. Oh, let's look into that. The title is held jointly by two brothers, Louis X and William IV. Uh, both, are working to, uh, both are working to suppress the peasant revolts. Hmm. The Duke is aware that you have been distributing and discussing the Twelve Articles. He is also aware that you have been disputing conditions of taxation and land use within the abbot, uh, with the abbot of Kursau. The Duke is merciful. He does not seek punishing to punish Tassing for these disputes. But his mercy has limits. The Duke has become aware that you have imprisoned the abbot and the monks of Kursau within the abbey. This is insult. This is rebellion. For this, there can be neither tolerance nor mercy. You have until sunset tomorrow to vacate Kersau Abbey and release the abbot and all monks. If this is not done, the Duke's soldiers will enter the town and the abbey in force. As certain as night follows day, they will kill every man and boy who stands in their way. What? God protect us! No! No! Oh! We never wanted to threaten the abbot, sir. He wouldn't listen to our demands. We're starving! Such efforts were necessary since the town folk are also suffering under the abbot's increased taxes. The duke is aware of the town's complaints and finds some merit in them. He believes some concessions can be made regarding the death tax and use of the forest for food, for wood. Well, that's good. Of course, only under the strict condition that the abbot is released unharmed. And what do the peasants get? What about our taxes? What about the right to use the woods for grazing, for fishing? The Duke is unwilling to make additional concessions. You can release the abbot and take what is offered to you, or uh, or you can remain defiant and face the consequences. It will yield you little, save steel and fire. Sunset, tomorrow. Okay, so it looks like that is our new time limit. Jeez, 12 hours. God, can we do this? Rude awakening. Come on, buddy. No, we are not going back to bed. Wait, is this something? Final hours. Let's uh, take a look at the new journal entry for that. Soldiers approach. Uh, I'll need to act quickly to convince the mob the abbot is innocent. Hopefully it will, is enough to spare the town. Okay, so we need to crack on, like, urgently. All right, who else can we... Well, well, we do have some leads we can follow, don't we? So, now that we've got time, this is good, because it means we can investigate the Shrine of Sensatia. But... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's some investigating we can do. A... There's the Shrine of Sensatia. There's the Golden Hand Inn. And... Okay, so there is some other stuff we can do here. Let's, let's do some asking around. God bless you. talk to Nico. Have you given more thought to buy... Oh yeah, because of course he wants us to buy a, a round for the patrons, doesn't he? Perhaps later. Until then. Okay, so the next thing I think is we have to be a bit more mindful about the timing that we will be spending on some of these things. So well, let's do the stuff that doesn't um, spend time, like use up time first. So firstly, I want to see if we can get into the uh, library and have a word with Brother Gui. Because this was uh, one of the other things that we need to, needed to follow up on. Now, hopefully we can sneak in. Oh, yes. They're not checking us. So we can use the secret entrance to sneak into the library. Wunderbar. Hello, Gerno. God bless you, Andreas. Has anything new come to light in the investigation of Otto's death? 
Uh, I must speak with you urgently about Brother Guy. Now is not... Uh, now... Now... Now is really not the time to discuss enmity between you, Andreas. I know you do not care for each other, but it's hardly appropriate. Guy's been stealing from the Abbey. Pardon me? I must not have heard you right. Brother Guy hid a cache of money in the sister's apothecary. What? Why on earth would he do that? Perhaps he meant to hide it from the peasants after they looted the sacristy. Uh, or he stole it? No, no, no. Brother Guy has been my treasurer throughout this his tenure at Curso. I trust him implicitly. The most obvious explanation that he has, uh, that he was hiding our funds from the peasants is also the most reasonable one. Guy's always been unhappy here. He could have been planning to flee to Burgundy. That seems reasonable. A powerful former duchy of eastern France that became a province in 1477, known for its wine, art, monasteries, and courtly fashion. Uh, the most obvious explanation is that Guy's an asshole. Could he have been colluding with the peasants to steal? No, I think this here. Maybe he could be planning to run away. No, I won't hear anything about more about this without substantial proof of Guy's supposed supposed misdeeds. Was there anything else? Nothing right now. God, uh, go with God, Andreas. Okay, so he's not going to listen to us without proof. Where can we get proof? Who is there? Is it you, Lord, come to claim my soul? It's Andreas, Brother Idoc. Oh, Andreas. Dear boy. Uh, you don't look so good. I have been better. The escape to the library winded me. Please. I feel aches, a heavy heart, but it will pass, if God wills it. Uh, could someone help you, Florian, or... Do not concern yourself with me, Andreas. The others... Please! Make sure the others are well. Uh, they're fine. Yeah, you're, you're the one who might be dying. If the time has come, Andreas, then it has come. It is in the hands of the Lord. Please! I must rest. Keep holding on, Brother Idoc. So we did hear something about Brother Idoc's medicine last night. Was it the nun, one of the nuns who mentioned it? When we came to feed them. Uh, so maybe that's another little quest that we can do. Let's have a look. Soldiers approach, that's where we are. Golden Hand, uh, duplic duplic duplicitous accounts. Uh, the yellow flower. No, nothing there. Curious. Alright, let's have a word with Guy. Andreas. Brother Guy. It seems like it would be quite a risk for you to come through the crypt to see us. Shouldn't you be out trying to prove that someone killed Otto? Someone who isn't the abbot? That is exactly why I'm here. I, tr I need to talk to you. Uh, just because it wasn't the abbot doesn't mean it wasn't one of the monks. Uh, yeah. Oh, was Ferenc's execution just the beginning? Father Gernot always thought this place was going to be brought down by lack of funds. It looks like death by Andreas Mailer is more likely. Do you need anything else? Not right now. Then God bless you, Andreas. Until later. Okay, that's curious. So it looks like we can't interrogate him. We, we must be able to find evidence somewhere. Andreas Mailer. I heard word you were in Tassing, uh, but you did not come to visit. Sorry, Brother Florian, I should have come by earlier. Yeah. While I am glad to see you again, after all this time, I do not see this as a sensible act. You put yourself at risk sneaking in here. I wanted to see how you were all holding up. We are not out of danger, if that is what you have in mind. The peasants on our edge. Uh, the peasants are on edge, and we are stuck. Uh, you fear they truly want more violence? Uh, it's all for show. They wouldn't dare to go further. Um, yeah, you feel they truly want more violence? They may not be trained soldiers, but it does not take much military acumen to burn down a building full of books. If they hurt the abbot or damage the abbey, the duke's armies will not show leniency. Believe me, a direct confrontation with real soldiers will end in a slaughter. You've said much about the peasants, but what of you and your brothers? 
Oh, I'm well, Andreas. I've been through worse. The Battle of the Cosmin, the Siege of Dornek Castle, death and suffering. Too much of that, perhaps, for a young mind. Ah, long enough ago uh, by now. Here, others uh, here, others who hold my attention. I worry about Volkbert and Rudiger. They are gentle people, not able to withstand this terror and violence. But I'm especially worried about Idok. I tried talking to him. He didn't look good. He is old and frail, and his health has grown worse since we fled here. He remarks the pains of the chest. Uh-oh. I am cut off from my tools, and were it not so, I am unsure of what might help against his affliction. Perhaps Salvia Salvatrix, or Papaver Somniferum? I'm willing, to, uh, I'm willing to do what I can to help. Uh, yeah, I'll do what I can to help. You are, you are good. Uh, you are good of heart, Andreas. Asking Sister Gertrude might be the most prudent in this case. She knows the plants best. Be safe, Andreas. Uh, you as well, Brother Florian. Okay, so that is something we can do. We can ask Sister Gertrude for help. So Lucas saying, "Go to keep you safe, Master Mailer." And Volkbert. No, 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 no. Volkbert, it's going to be all right. How can you know that, Lucas? Trust in Providence, brother. The Lord guides us through Gethsemane. They are going to hurt us. They won't. Look, Andreas is here. He will help. Lucas Volker, uh, yes, I will help in any way I can. Uh, it's all looking better already, Volkberg. God has sent us a mediator. I don't want to die. You're not going to. Um, you need to toughen up, Volk, but... Andreas, I don't think that's helpful. No, please! We're all going to die! You won't die. Andreas was just being... mean. He will help us. All of us. Speaking of, have either of you seen Brother Guy doing anything... odd around the Abbey? Yeah, that's... that's what we should be asking. Not that I can remember, but I'm usually busy in the kitchen. Many brothers to feed, after all. Oh no, I told you, Lucas, it's more woe for all of us. I can't tell you. Guy will be mad at me. People will yell at me again. This is important. It could help all of you. If you know something, you should tell Andreas. He's trying to look out for us. But, all right, maybe. I did see him go into the abattoir the other day, near Vespers. The abattoir is the building on the far right, I believe. He had a book with him. Nothing strange about seeing Brother Guy with a book, but he doesn't go into the abattoir. Why is it... Slaughterhouse, basically. He doesn't even go into the animal pens. That's work for me and Brother Voslov. I see. Thank you, Brother Volkbert. Is that helpful? What does this mean for Brother Guy? No need to worry, I appreciate the help. Uh, yeah. God save us. Okay, that is a huge lead, and we will be taking it right now. So, let us... Yeah, let's go check out the abattoir. We can exit there. Uh, what's this? Not even a crypt was spared from the looting. Can we go up to the... So how are we going to get there? Go up to the tower? Uh, no, it's not the tower, is it? And we don't need to speak with Carl, we need to sneak past these brothers. And... This is the cemetery. Uh, is it, is it by the Old Bailey? I think it's by the Old Bailey. Hang on, let's look at the... Let's look at the map, of course. Cemetery, uh, so we've got to come down, animal pens, and then abattoir. Down this way. And these are the animal pens, and it's over here. Alright. Is this it? A book? Why would there be a book left out here? It's been left off it's been left open. I wonder who was reading this. Come on, we know who was reading this. I wonder which work it is. Oh god, this looks a lot like this looks like a book of exorcism and occultism. Whatever this text was for, it certainly has no place in the Abbey. Let's uh, look at this. What are we looking at? 
What can we highlight? Hmm, there's a loose page here. Mireille Otto. Le Bosson de Saint Louis, Lin Kier Pour Bourgui, Bourgui. My French isn't as good as it should be, unfortunately. Orioth Pine Osel Triboy, Norioth Belferith Kamoy, Astaroth Sobrenoy Sismael. They like angels. Oh, demons! These are names of demons. This is a powerful ritual. Hmm. Mireille Otto. Otto's name is in the middle of a summoning circle, but why? Okay, this is getting highly sus now. Like, for sure, this must mean something, no? Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I can click on. Come on. Okay, that is quite useful, i got to say. But what can we do with that? What can we do with that? That is the question. Let's see. Uh, there's even a loose page of paper and with the handwritten notes tucked between the pages. Mm, so, I mean, I'm guessing we can use this to confront Brother Guy. Or the Abbot, at least. And then he'll take action. But, actually, maybe... Wait, would there be anything in the abbot's house? Let's have a quick gander here. Nothing. Or maybe something in the scriptorium? It's Brother Guy's old desk. Why are there still supplies here? Mostly writing tools and parchment inside, except... But wait, what's this? Are those lemons? And a penknife? That's strange. What would he have used for lemons at his workstation? Lemon desk. The scriptorium fell into disrepair quickly about after Father Gurnot closed the library. Hmm. You're free, to wander, uh, you're free to wander, Andreas, but stay out of the library. Peter's orders. Okay. Fabian, go as you please, Andreas, but stay out of the library. Peter's orders. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, so... I wonder, would that... Um... The lemon trick that we had there, can we... Can we use that on the book again? Just thinking of a, a trick that I uh, I saw in some detective show involving lemon and paper and secret messages and stuff. Let's let's see. Will this work? What what on earth? Hmm. There must be something else. Like what? Like those lemons, for sure, are used to hide some kind of secret code. So, I mean, let yeah, we, we, we have to find out what it's for. Come on. Uh, Keller in the kitchen? No. Refectory? I mean, where else would he be hiding stuff? When the brothers eat their meals, this is the lectern for reading to them. Keller in the kitchen, the cloister. Yeah, let's check the kitchen. I mean, I doubt there'd be anything here, but... Oh? Uh, hello? Is that mouse bunga? Oh, he wants a sausage. Go on, little buddy. 
Of course, you guys know that it is obligatory in this playthrough to pet the animals. So that just happened. I hope there's going to be a payoff for that, by the way. I just, I would love if there's a payoff for that. Hmm. Okay, nothing here. Let's, um... Cucum these, these are cucumbers and veg. Let us check in the Abbott house. So, of course, this place has been ransacked. Uh, that way to the lower abbey. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else there. So, let's head over to Sister Gertrude. See if she can uh, give us some medicine for Mr. Idoc. And then go from there. Uh, now, where would she be? It's Margaret. Uh, there's Mouse Funga. Would they be here? Oh, sisters at dinner. Greetings, Master Mailer. Come on, where's Sister Gertrude? God bless you, Andreas. Oh, wait, 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 wait. She's in the shrine, isn't she? Of course, that's where she is, of course. Alright, Sister Gertrude. Oh, no, wait, that's Sophie. Oh! Master Mel, I didn't see you there. Um, you alright, Sister? I... Yes. I'm a bit on edge today, that's all. God bless you. Yeah, sorry, that's the wrong one. Sister Gertrude is over here. God bless you, Andreas. Sister Gertrude, I need your assistant. Brother Idoc is of ill health. He is very weak, has trouble breathing, and remarks of pain in his chest and heart. Oh my, Master Mailer, that is very troubling indeed. Let me think. St. Hildegard recommends yellow get, uh, gantin, but we currently have none in the herb hut. It mostly grows higher in the mountain, but there may be a few in the forest. If you bring me some, I can mix up a, a curative broth. Thank you, Sister Gertrude. I will set out with haste. May God shine mercy upon Brother Adok. Take care, Andreas. Alright, find Yellow Gentian. Uh, but let's just quickly see if... No, they don't want to talk about anything. Fine. The lemons! What, I mean, what do we do with the lemons? That's what I'm wondering. Like, it, it has to be something... Like, secret code or something? But on what? Uh, come on. What about these, Andreas? Master Andreas? No, these flowers are red. They don't match what we found. They must be part of the forest we haven't looked yet. We should go back over all the areas, especially poke at the edges. Okay, so... Is it the yellow one? The yellow plant with elliptical leaves? This might be the one. Yeah, okay, I think that's it. Let's just check around here. This wouldn't be it, is it? Must and raise more flowers? Still not quite the match we're looking for. Sure, we'll find the right ones. Okay, yeah, we, we found the right ones. Okay, let's get these to Sister Gertrude. And I'm still wondering... what that lemon is for. Like, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I thought that maybe the Drukas would give us some information about the uh, lemons, but uh, they did not. Anyhow, let's uh, give these plants to Gertrude. God bless you, Andreas. Have you found the yellow get gentian? Yes, I have it. By the grace of our Lord, fortunately these are a fair bit dry already. Yes, best to grind and mix the gentian into a broth, with a few other herbs for calming the body. It will take a bit of time. Come back later, Andreas. Until then. Okay, so we can pass time. That's easy enough. Easy enough. Should we take our findings back to Brother Guy? 
or back to the abbot, maybe? I think we should. God bless you, Andreas. What? Okay, we must be missing something. God bless you, Andreas. Hmm. Right, let's uh, let's have a word with Volkbert. No, 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 no. Lucas? No. What? Oh, we forgot about up here, didn't we? What are these two up to? Matthew? God bless you, Andreas. And Rudiger. Unsartroten, uh, uh, what's he saying? Unsartroten hat hat fasalt sankt de Petru go out. What? Dats er macht generin se imo ding dingentem man. Kirie eleison. Kirie is Christe eleison. That's a. Keep listening. Uh, is that the Petrus Lied? Er hapet o mit... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what that... How to say that. Keep listening. Brother, can you hear me? It is an old song from his home, Andreas. I think it soothes him. Da, ich, uh, da in mach er skerien den er uili uh, nerien. Kirie eleison, Christe eleison. Ah, I like it. A song meant for times of need, and I believe we are in need of. The, uh, and I believe we are in need at this time. I worry about Brother Rudiger. He has been deep in prayer ever since we fled into the library. All this violence and strife does not conform with his gentle soul. You really care for him, don't you? Well, I mean, yeah, we know he does. Uh, it will be all right. You have to be tougher. This is a harsh world. The abbot should really have known something like this could happen. You really care for him, don't you? This kind and thoughtful man? Who wouldn't? You'll find out who killed Otto, wouldn't you? won't you? I have to, there's too much at stake. Uh, I'm hoping to... We'll see, it's, an, uh, it's too early to say anything. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I have to. See, I told you. Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison. Brother Rurig, why don't you sing for the others to hear? Yeah, I think that would be good. The others? Yes, all your brothers. You're the cantor. Yours is the voice that leads them. I... I don't know. You can do it. I believe in you, and Matthew believes in you. We all do. All right, I suppose I can try. Oh man, that was pretty cool. Uh, mach genierem. Okay, he's he's doing his stuff again. Vorslav, how's it going? Hello, brother Vorslav. Do you have a moment? Of course, Andreas. What do you need? I was hoping to ask you about brother Gui. 
What about him? Uh, has he been doing anything odd lately? I'm sorry, Andreas. I don't know what you mean. I think you may have had a reason to kill Otto. Andreas, that's a grave accusation. Do you have any evidence to support this assertion? Sister Margaret heard him rustling about in the sister's herb hut, and we found a large sack of coins. Sister Margaret is blind, Andreas. She likely ran into one of the sisters. What would Brother Guy be doing in a, the sister's garden? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Sister Margaret knew it was him, though. She recognized his voice. He's hiding money in the sister's herb hut, but I don't know why. Several of the brothers were affronted when he demanded Father Gono reveal the Abbey's financial record. But for Guy to be hiding money... Ah, oh, crud, we didn't persuade him. Uh, just tell me so I have something to tell Peter. So you can implicate one of the brothers in Otto's death? No, Andreas, not for your convenience. Enough of this. God bless you, Andreas. Oh, crud, come on. We kind of needed that. Okay, so let's just take a... Let's just review the information that we have about Brother Gui. Like... The lemons. It has to be something... To do with the lemons, but what? Hmm. Alright, should we confront the man? Let's confront the man. Let's see what he knows. Let's let him know that we know. Again, Andreas? What is it this time? Need to talk to you about Otto's murder. Uh, the sisters and I came across the gold you hid in the herb hut. Which one? Otto's murder. Oh, I'll help in any way I can. I know about the money you were stealing from the Abbey. Keep you. Keep your voice down. Where did you hear that? I'm asking the questions. Do go on. The sisters and I came across the gold you hid in the herb hut. What? Why would I do such a thing? Covering your tracks. And just because you found gold someplace, you assume I hid it there? You made the mistake of pushing Sister Margaret out of the way. She described how you felt. What a cursed world. You can't even trust the blind to not be witnesses. That's it. Ah, uh, that's all I know at the moment. Cr what? Come on, we've got more. Hmm. I mean, he's not gonna... And that's all you, you will know, because there's nothing more to know. If there's nothing else, God bless you, Andreas. Oh, like, for sure, it, it has something to do with that lemon. I, I know it. Okay, let's head back to the scriptorium, because I feel like we might have missed something. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything more that we can do here, which is a bit perplexing. Anyhow, we will take a quick break here, guys, and when we get back, hopefully, we will be uh, able to further up our investigation into this all. I think maybe it might slowly be time to visit the Shrine of Sensatia. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.